Ya, selamat datang teman-teman di edisi webinar Cek Fakta yang ketujuh dengan tema verifikasi video. Hari ini kita akan dibantu oleh seorang jurnalis perempuan yang sangat andal di Indonesia. Di bagian tengah video teman-teman ada Karatna Arianti. Saat ini menjadi Hai. koordinator uh, Asia Tenggara untuk IFJ Asia Pasifik. Jangan lupa jika ada tawaran untuk pekerjaan jurnalistik yang lintas negara, silahkan ditawarkan ke Kak Karatna di tengah. Nah, pemateri kita yang ada Halo. di sebelah kanan, jangan terlalu galak. Nah, baru saja dadah, namanya Arul Prakas. Arul dia ngerti bahasa Indonesia, tapi dia akan menyampaikan presentasi dalam bahasa Inggris. Arul ini adalah seorang aktivis hak asasi manusia, pelatih untuk pembuatan film. Dia juga seorang teknologis and media specialist, program manager for Asia and the Pacific AT Witness. Posisinya saat ini sedang berada di Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Terima kasih Arul sudah mau bergabung dengan kami dalam kegiatan webinar kerjasama Aji Indonesia, Google News Initiative, dan juga Internews. Materi yang akan disampaikan Arul tentang video veri verifikasi video ini berkaitan dengan kerja-kerja jurnalis, aktivis, dan juga apa investigator dari hak asasi manusia terkait peredaran video di sosial media ataupun di YouTube yang terkadang yang terkadang membawa klaim dari pihak tertentu dan membawa konten atau informasi dari pihak tertentu yang belum tentu benar faktanya. Maka dari itu kami menggelar webinar ini dengan harapan peserta yang ikut webinar kali ini bisa memahami dan kemudian tertarik untuk mengembangkan skill-skill pengecekan video melalui gambar dan mempelajari berbagai tools-tools gratis yang ada di internet. Kita memverifikasi video, nah itu nanti kita akan dengarkan dari Mas Arul Prakas. Jika teman-teman ada pertanyaan, silahkan dituliskan di chat box sebelah kanan, diketik saja menggunakan bahasa Indonesia. Nanti presentasi Arul dalam bahasa Inggris akan juga dibantu untuk dituliskan poin-poinnya oleh Kak Karatna yang ada di bagian tengah. Jika teman-teman ada pertanyaan, takut lupa, tulis saja pertanyaannya di box. Nanti kami akan menjawabnya pasca presentasi. Jadi jangan ragu untuk menuliskan pertanyaan. Jangan ragu untuk selalu penasaran. Kita sudah ada 33 peserta arus. Saya kira ini it's time for you to start your presentation, Arul. So please start your presentation. Thank you. Okay, screen share. Is it okay? Can you hear me well? Yes, I yes. can hear you. Yes. And yeah. also your presentation as well. Okay, cool. Ah. So, apa kabar semua? Nama saya Prakash. Hari ini saya nak bicara pasal pengantar untuk verifikasi video. So, kita langsung bermula. So, saya nama saya dah beritahu Prakash. Uh, saya manager senior untuk Asia dan Pacific. Uh, itu detail-detail uh, Twitter uh, personal, Arul PRK, Witness Asia, Twitter organisasi uh, dan Facebook uh, Witness Asia. Apa-apa um, maklumat atau tips-tips kita juga langsung uh, kongsi di Twitter dan juga Facebook. Okay, seterusnya, uh, Witness adalah satu organisasi hak asasi bisa membantu publik untuk menggunakan video dan teknologi dalam upaya melindungi dan memperjuangkan hak asasi manusia. Kita adalah satu NGO uh, antarabangsa um, dan juga kita ada teman-teman yang lain uh, di seluruh dunia. Uh, di Asia Pasifik, di Afrika, uh, Middle East, uh, Latin Amerika dan sebagainya. So, saya hanya fokus lebih kepada uh, Southeast Asia atau ASEAN countries. Uh, di sini kamu boleh nampak peta negara-negara uh, seperti Myanmar, Filipina, Thailand, Cambodia, Malaysia, Indonesia dan juga uh, East Timor, Sri Lanka jika perlu. Ada juga uh, permintaan dari negara-negara lain uh, khususnya untuk perlatihan menggunakan video dan teknologi untuk hak asasi. 
So uh, semua tips-tips dan juga link uh, tools dan juga uh, website kamu bisa dapatkan daripada link Bitly saya. So itu Bitly link, link uh, Bitly. Uh, kamu boleh lihat semua kompilasi tools-tools dan tips-tips bukan saja untuk ver- verifikasi tetapi secara umum untuk um, kegiatan uh, journalist, filmmakers yang uh, aktivis yang menggunakan video dalam perjuangan uh, seharian uh, dengan masyarakat, dengan uh, publik dan sebagainya. Dan ada satu uh, tools atau tips yang paling penting dalam verifikasi atau in- online investigation iaitu Bellingcats. Uh, kamu boleh Google Bellingcats Online Investigation Toolkit. Ada Google Doc uh, merangkumi uh, semua jenis um, uh, tools-tools dan uh, teknik untuk membuat verifikasi uh, menggunakan uh, open source tools yang 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 free dan mudah untuk sesiapa melakukan dan uh, di sini secara keseluruhan kamu dapat lihat uh, ikon-ikon atau gambar-gambar tools atau jenama branding yang uh, digunakan untuk uh, online open source investigation. So biasanya uh, jurnalis, aktivis juga bisa gunakan uh, tools-tools ini. Saya akan uh, cerita sedikit tentang tools-tools ini uh, dalam slide-slide yang seterusnya. So yang Bitly link yang dulu saya dah bagi mempunyai semua link-link um, uh, Bellingcats dan juga uh, tools-tools yang lain di internet uh, secara percuma. Semua link yang saya sertakan di sini adalah percuma uh, dan free. <laughs> percuma means free. Uh, tidak perlu bayar. <laughs> It's open source tools. Ada juga yang berbayar tetapi yang bagus untuk uh, kerja-kerja verifikasi, fact checking dan sebagainya. So uh, semua link-link uh, website saya sudah tersertakan dalam kategori verification and fact checking. Um, semua tools-tools yang saya akan bicara nanti sudah ada di sana. Kamu langsung boleh cek. Dan juga ada dua lagi Bitly khususnya untuk verification. So Bitly Citizen Tool dan Verification Tools. Kamu juga boleh dapat link-link ini nanti. Mungkin Aji boleh uh, email peserta. So secara keseluruhan uh, saya mau bagi data. Uh, banyak video, uh, lebih 5 miliar video di YouTube ditonton setiap hari. So, konten-konten video di media sosial terlalu banyak sampai kita tidak dapat uh, lihat semua video atau ada data seharian. Apa jenis video uh, di diupload dalam Facebook, diupload dalam YouTube dan sebagainya, di Twitter dan laman-laman social media yang lain. So, um, sukar atau rumit, more difficult. Uh, untuk fact checker atau jurnalis atau aktivis atau public untuk tahu video jenis mana, dari mana, siapa yang upload, uh, apa kasusnya dan sebagainya. Dan mak- ini bukan lagi um, video di sharing dalam uh, media sosial yang lebih ada public interface atau public platform uh, it makes more difficult nowadays uh, dengan aplikasi chat, chat applications. So chat application kadang-kadang uh, the user atau yang yang kongsikan sharing, mereka download video dari social media dan hantar gunakan WhatsApp, WA, wa- is it? WA, WhatsApp, Telegram. Uh, dan juga aplikasi-aplikasi chat lain atau messenger. So, video-video ini sukar juga untuk diverifikasi kerana it, video-video ini bukan public. It's a private channel. So, ada juga kerumitan atau uh, difficulties to verify 
these type of videos okay then the next thing uh, sebenarnya tujuan witness adalah untuk mempertahankan uh, integ integritas dan kepercayaan terhadap konten video sebagai alat yang penting untuk menyediakan konteks atau informasi uh, menciptakan publik yang uh, yang lebih faham atau understand more about the human rights so ketika kamu merakam video di mana-mana juga um, kamu harus uh, mempunyai um, informasi atau metadata uh, while you are capturing the video so semasa capture video mempunyai maklumat-maklumat ini senang untuk jurnalis atau aktivis untuk menggunakan video ini untuk advokasi atau maybe di di court di court like mahkamah uh, untuk pengadilan atau tribunal investigation uh, so kita juga melatih uh, i hope like ag also does that they, they train the journalists to capture uh, verifiable uh, videos or verifiable uh, media So I, I want to show uh, like an example here uh, video yang dikongsikan uh, dalam Facebook tahun 2017. Uh, I'm just going to play a uh, few seconds. Arul, okay, can they see the video? Uh, yeah, Arul. Yes. Uh, if the video have a graphic content, would you like to inform yeah, yeah, us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure, you. sure. So th th this video is uh, uh, don't have much graphic content. Maybe the next video uh, I'm going to show might have. So I want to just ask the the audience. Um, Can can they put in the chat uh, what they see? Can 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 they tell me which country is this, or what can they see in this video? Can they put it in okay. the chat? Teman-teman okay, silakan diisi untuk lihat untuk tahu misalnya menurut kalian um, ini dari negara mana? Uh, try to guess aja, uh, yeah. coba ditebak. Ya. Yep. Kok ditebak sih? Dilihat, dianalisis berdasarkan misalnya mungkin uh, kebak-kebak. Negaranya di mana bukan bukan peristiwanya ya. Jadi di mana yeah. Bangladesh? Yeah. Oke, okay, one person um, answer with Bangladesh. And yang lain coba Afwan, Afwan kalau bisa nebak Sudan. Uh, the next case is Sudan and then Rohingya in Myanmar. Um, okay, let's wait, wait until. Okay, another yeah. one is Myanmar as well. Uh, ah, yeah, uh, Sri Lanka, uh, um, India. And I, I think we will stop after okay, the two yeah. questions, yeah? Okay, okay, okay. cool, okay. Enough, okay, okay. It, selesai? Okay, selesai. so um, most of them are answering about the South Asia, so um, ranging from Bangladesh up yeah. to India, uh, but some of them also ask, uh, also answer Sudan, and then India, um, eh, sorry, Bur uh, Myanmar, oh, okay. and okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, yeah. cool, cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... And, uh, Uh, jawapan like the answer uh, who said Indonesia <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, it's uh, it's one of the fact checker actually okay so basically the video uh, is from um, Rakhine State uh, Burma Myanmar Burma. Yeah. Oh, okay okay yeah, so uh, we can see here like well, When when people uh, just see any content online, this this is what normally we get. So people are uncertain, especially if you're not local. Uh, kamu susah untuk faham atau tahu video ni diambil di mana. So itu itu masalah. Then uh, if you don't speak the language, kalau bahasanya yang lain, kalau dengar bahasa itu tidak faham, then susah. Uh, maybe 
because there's one audio saying like Allah Akbar, maybe they can establish maybe some Muslim community, but can be anywhere, correct? So th these are the type of the videos like Susa uh, Kitana Verifikasi dan mungkin kalau tidak tahu konteks, konteks, konteks susah juga. So uh, inilah jenis-jenis video uh, di-upload semasa The Rohingya Genocide uh, 2017, Ogos, Augustus. So kebanyakan video-video ini di-upload oleh uh, uh, daripada perkampungan Rohingya di, di Rakhine State uh, semasa mereka fleeing uh, to, to Bangladesh border daripada military operations or attacks. So um, ini sal salah satu contoh. Dan kita lihat beberapa contoh lagi, uh, examples, contoh means examples. So uh, the next next video is uh, graphic, graphic warning. Boleh, can, can you tell them? Like... Ya, yeah, um, um, uh, yang ini ada gambar uh, kekerasannya ya. Jadi uh, kalau yang kamu lihat bisa ditutup dulu atau di, uh, tapi video audio nggak terlalu kencang. Cuma kalau nggak siap, audio. mendingan jangan dilihat. Okay, yeah, I will. Tell, they, I already told. I already, I already announced them. So, so this video you you can't see much details. Tidak lihat apa kasusnya is dari jauh, tapi bisa dengar. Eh? So, kalau kamu tidak mau dengar like gun and shooting and okay, you that, can play. Okay. So uh, mungkin ada yang pernah lihat video ni. Same thing like location what what is happening. Two things. What is happening and the location. Kalau ada yang pernah lihat bisa ditaruh di kolom chat uh, apa yang terjadi peristiwa apa yang terjadi lalu di mana. Kalau ada yang mau coba jawab Atau nggak pernah lihat Papua, um, Papua question mark, oh, you also see the chat, right? Ya. Yeah. Mm -mm. Kalau belum pernah lihat, bisa just Oke, okay, never, um, never see the Adi said that he never see. Um, uh, Oke, okay, it's like um, shoot demonstrants, so the targeted demonstrants. Papua. Uh, yeah, Brazil, Brazil, Amazon. Okay. Okay. So I I, I will continue. So I can teru, teruskan lah langsung. So um, video ni uh, sebenarnya, ya yeah, ada yang jawab betul uh, Papua. Uh, lokasi spesifik dikatakan. Uh, Fak Fak F A K F A K. So uh, pertama kali uh, di dikongsi oleh uh, Facebook page Aliansi Mahasiswa Papua uh, dengan uh, teksnya mereka bilang uh, 21 Agustus 2019 di Fak Fak sedang terjadi penembakan oleh militer. Mohon advokasi. Um, so sebenarnya verifikasi harus belum belum pasti ya di, di mana apa yang sedang berlaku kalau kamu lihat video ini um, belum pasti kamu tahu siapa yang sedang tembak siapa yang terlibat dalam kasus ini uh, lokasi mana tapi hanya posting-posting di Facebook uh, ada teksnya di fak fak uh, dan juga penembakan militer memang uh, penembakan ini berlaku uh, ada berita juga selepas kejadian ini 
dan juga yang ambil video ni belum lagi datang atau came forward to 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 tell like who who took the video siapa yang mengambil video ini belum tahu lagi so nanti kita akan bicara sedikit tentang uh, jenis-jenis video ber- macam yang like this then also cara-cara kita uh, boleh dapat verifikasi atau investigate further uh, investigasi sedikit tentang kasus ini atau video-video ini so uh, selepas presentasi saya akan tunjukkan tools-tools atau software atau platform uh, kita bisa guna untuk verifikasi. So ada lagi satu video um, yang ni mungkin maklumat sudah ada di sana. Okey, untuk uh, video ini uh, mungkin boleh kongsi apa uh, kasus what is happening and um, mungkin di mana mungkin di mana sudah tahu apa beza video ini dengan video yang dahulu. What's a, what is the difference from this video and the previous two videos? Maybe can uh, share. Uh, bisa dibantu ya teman-teman. Jadi ada pertanyaan apa bedanya video kalau ini udah kelihatan ya di ujungnya udah ada penanda. Ini adalah uh, salah satu video yang diambil dari gerakan bersih 2.0 di Kuala Lumpur di Malaysia. Kalau dilihat bedanya video ini dengan dua video lainnya lain sebelumnya adalah apa? I think there are so many signs um, in front of the stores. So I mean like it's also helping people to uh, start to verify. Okay, so one of the thing that um, participants answer is there are many clues. Yeah, um, it's also it's easy for them to identify the places. Uh, one, one more question and then we can continue, yeah? I want more answers and then we can continue. Yeah. Uh, okay, and then also you can actually um, seeing the identity in the of, uh, uniform of the officer. Yep, okay. Okay, so, uh, Arul, yeah. it's okay for you to speak English as well. I mean, like, if you feel yeah, yeah. more comfortable doing that. Okay, cool. Thank you. So, so you can ask the audience if they can understand my... <laughs> Bahasa, <laughs> you win, you win. <laughs> okay, I just like trying to like uh, connect back. Okay, so so on a, another um, what do you call that uh, important uh, aspect of this. Uh, video uh, is uh, that there is a narration ada narasi that someone is telling what is happening so the, the previous videos uh, even the the papua video there's no one is talking uh, like no details no information but this video uh, berse 2.0 um ada informasi um uh, ada narasi dan juga video ini di upload di YouTube um, ada informasi lebih lanjut more information about the video so the person like I'm sharing the slide like they mentioned Bersi 2.0 Tia Gas Pudoraya is the name of the place then um, the person who upload is there you you maybe can reach out 
to them um then <clears throat> also there is some text explaining uh what happened so basically saying that this is raw video raw video maksudnya belum di edit it's not edited video so whatever they film mereka langsung upload it's a raw video so <clears throat> there is enough information so later uh, maybe after the presentation i will show how we can easily locate uh, where the video was filmed uh, based on the youtube uh, video being shared okay 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 then I think someone need to off the audio. I can hear something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so uh, the next question, uh, apakah kita perlu melihat dulu baru bisa percaya? Whether is seeing is believing. Um, memang suka, it's difficult to, to identify sometimes or like believe what you see, especially at, at this era, social media era or digital era. Most of the things uh, we are consuming based on um, mobile phone, HP. Eh? So everything we are watching through the phone and our phone screen is not so big and uh, the details might be not clear, but there is a lot of tendency uh, to believe um, uh, hawks uh, and also fake news at, at the moment. Uh, at this this uh, digital era so this will be challenging and more challenging in the future and um, there there is some question ada banyak persoalan mungkin kita tidak ada masa untuk persoalan ini kita langsung lihat beberapa tips uh, saya harus skip uh, is it okay if i skip uh, some slide because of the timing So someone has to tell me like how long I have, okay? Yeah. Okay. You can continue, Aron. So the the videos we found uh, online, um, we, we can categorize it as like eyewitness video, people who see something is happening, uh, atau like, like, like some casus or event. Um, it's, we call like uh, eyewitness video. So most of the time, uh, activists or citizen public uh, will be filming the video and upload uh, in the social platform, YouTube, Facebook, Insta. Sometimes the video being shared on Twitter and also sent through <coughs> WhatsApp. And it's publicly available. Sometimes news agency, they also film and they also upload videos. So these are the videos we want to like verify sometimes these are the videos you want to download we want to archive for our work so um biasa kita mula dengan uh, persoalan uh, dasar yaitu siapa apa kapan di mana dan kenapa who what when where and why this is the basic question you need to ask if you see any type of videos on social media even in the WhatsApp or anywhere else. So <clears throat> to further detail out, so the follow-up question, <coughs> sorry, can be like, number one, apakah kalian melihat versi asal? Whether it's the original version or whether it's edited version or someone like sharing, resharing in other platforms. That That's the important thing. Number two, normally videos, you need someone to take the video. Seorang itu harus merakam video. So you need to find out siapa yang merakam video ini. Uh, apakah kalian tahu siapa yang merakam video? Yang nombor tiga, apakah kalian tahu di mana video tersebut dirakam? Lokasi, uh, the location, where the video been filmed. Just now in the Bersay video, you roughly know the location. Uh, like there's a building, there is a signage. Uh, you can easily search or identify using 
internet or certain tools like Google Map and so on. Uh, so then number four, apakah kalian tahu kapan video itu dirakam? Basically, when when the video is captured, date. Yang penting date dengan time. Itu dua perkara yang penting. Dan yang kelima, apakah kalian tahu mengapa video tersebut dirakam? Apakah uh, why the video being filmed? Like like what is the intention or the purpose someone filming that video? So if like like an eyewitness or just someone standing on the street uh, started filming or like uh, someone have like intention uh, filming certain video, maybe they are like activists. Or they are like human rights defenders, uh, so they start filming something that they see in front of their eyes. So it depends the the intention, huh? um, why uh, the video was captured. Okay, with this mindset, now we slowly uh, go into uh, how we can verify this type of video with these questions in mind. <clears throat> so we can see many example. Uh, online, uh, so Kenneth Roth, like a Human Rights Watch uh, person, he, he uh, tweeted something saying that a drone side tour of what Assad battle bomb have done. So th there's, there's a visual, there's information, but someone quickly uh, debunked uh, the tweet saying that, that that visual is actually from Gaza, uh, not from Aleppo or like Syria. So <clears throat> these are the things sometimes um, when you are on the social media, like some there is high possibilities you might retweet or like share content might not necessarily true or have been verified. This is the difficult thing we are facing every single day. So we, we always have to be uh, careful uh, sharing this type of unverified content. Then. Of course, uh, di Indonesia pun uh, semasa pemilu dan juga uh, Papua Andres ada banyak uh, bots dan juga uh, misinformation or fake news or hoax being spread uh, throughout Indonesia. So you can see here um, different account, same content. Then they have like a, like bots having like different profiles who are fake, not real person sharing information uh, these are more challenging when you have um, uh, technology uh, it's, it's more difficult uh, to, to verify this information you need to do more work and also of course during the indonesia elections um, you can see this article uh, fake news causing confusion in indonesia presidential election i don't want to uh, elaborate uh, further memang Banyak uh, informasi kamu sudah tahu. So uh, saya pun nak uh, tunjuk contoh-contoh video. Uh, yang video ini uh, kamu lihat dulu. Okay. Can uh, anyone seen this before or like this video? Ada yang pernah lihat video? Okay. Um, we also uh, uh, had the same videos uh, during the training, so some of us yeah. have seen already. So I just like uh, go through to the context. So as you know, this some is, of them uh, are never. So it was a fake viral video about a child kidnapping uh, distributed um, in India mainly, but it was a viral video that uh, people also been killed because of that uh, video. I mean, like spreading of uh, hogs and like uh, misinformation. So um, mainly this was edited. So the last part uh, they edit, then they shared on the WhatsApp. So, originally, this footage is part of a Pakistani child safety campaign. Um, 
so they just edited the last part uh they, they show like a banner it, it only takes a moment to kidnap a child from the street of karachi so that's the message so in the original video uh, the two motorbike guys will return the child and hold the banner so <clears throat> these are some type of videos that you can manipulate the video you can edit the front or in the middle or towards the end uh, to give different messaging or different context depends on the intention of the person who doing it and so is one of the examples uh, how uh, edited video can be shared so another example is uh, manipulated images uh, using the apps there, there are a lot of popular apps uh, like show you your old face like in 10 years time how do you look like uh, and it was a lot of people recently sharing that app I, I can't recall the name of the app at the moment maybe someone can put it in the chat so th these are the consumer uh, applications uh, no not the 10 years challenge but it's more on the app when you take the your photo then it shows your older version or younger version so you, it can manipulate yeah so a lot of people started uh, taking photos of themselves and trying to upload the older version of the person or like the younger yeah, version of them. So these are the consumer product that can easily manipulate the image. You can take someone else's photo and use it or like there is also an app for video. You can use videos to manipulate, change the face or to have some editing. So in this uh, slide, you can see you can see that there's like a military or police truck at the back. Then there's a car. Originally, uh, there was a, like a sniper. Can you see on top on the white car? That was totally uh, removed um, from that uh, picture. You can use any any uh, like editing software to to do that. These are the challenges. Similarly, this is photo. Easily, you can use like photoshop and uh, other apps to do it but the challenges now uh for videos so ex the, the the next slide uh, i'm going to show is the video we call call it alteration um uh, can use after effect it's a gonna application after effect you can see they remove the two cars passing by from that original video so that what they can do. So in the future, you, you all now itself, you can see this type of uh, altered videos uh, on social media uh, and everywhere. And it's really challenging. Okay. So <clears throat> the next one is uh, maybe the, the, the green, like some key principles. Um, Kita seharusnya uh, skeptis kerana apa? Mudah sekali untuk mengupload video lama tapi ditambah keterangan judul dan deskripsi baru. Uh, this are like a trick uh, digunakan untuk like uh, to create hoax um, atau any kind of uh, uh, misinformation. So um, always look at the video, uh, review each video. Uh, with the dose of uh, skepticism so jangan jangan mudah uh, percaya don't easily trust what you see is what it is uh, then uh, we we already saw like um, the edited video uh, memang susah untuk uh, diverifikasi mungkin uh, mereka tambah text music graphic dan juga uh, uh, hilang um, keaslian uh, video itu uh, itu uh, susah ke untuk verifikasi video-video yang diedit dan yang penting um, um, 
ialah uh, metadata. So video online uh, sebenarnya tidak uh, memiliki metadata uh, yang kita perlukan. Uh, example date and time of the recording. Kerana setiap platform kamu upload YouTube atau uh, Facebook hanya metadata atau informasi pada masa kamu upload hanya ada di sana. Bukan original metadata. Original metadata ialah informasi semasa video itu diambil. The date, time, the camera model atau phone model, smartphone model uh, and and so on. And that is why it is important uh, when you upload any videos on social media, it's good to always add in the text or description, date, time, location, and your contact information. So people who find your video, they can reach you out easily. Okay. So th these are some key principles. So the next principle, uh, like metadata, I think you, you know what is metadata. <laughs> data uh, yang memberikan informasi mengenai data lain. Example, photo, photo file name atau video file name. Um, dan juga uh, model camera, model phone, uh, tarik, date, time, uh, GPS location. Uh, semuanya ialah metadata. Informasi uh, about mengenai digital file. Uh, any media or digital media okay so ini ini contoh kalau, kalau kita lihat uh, metadata original asli dan metadata upload so metadata original di bawah kamu boleh lihat uh, format file dan juga uh, iPhone 4S kamu tahu uh, phone yang mana merakam software masa tarikh a date, time, and the file name. So, original. Yang di atas tu, yang sudah di-export or uploaded. So, semua metadata asal hilang. So, ini ialah contoh. Uh, daripada YouTube. YouTube. If you upload something on YouTube, then you download all the original metadata uh, disappears. And also, the the below, that's the example where is the original um, uh, information is there okay okay then the next so memang uh, 100% 100% verifikasi adalah hal sulit dicapai jika video tidak berasal dari sumber utama akan sangat sulit untuk memverifikasi data waktu dan lokasi saat video tersebut diambil. Ini adalah salah satu alasan mengapa online video lebih baik untuk pelengkap dokumentasi atau riset. So it, it can be supplement, uh, not not the only source. So informasi yang lain uh, boleh membantu mendukung uh, video asal. So, example, uh, the protest in Jakarta, um, you can have like um, many people sharing similar video. You know the location of the, like maybe police attacking the protesters. So, you can have more videos, more information. So, you can um, uh, understand better about the uh, the video source uh, and the type of video you're watching. So, itu penting. Then, <clears throat> not all video can be verified. Tidak semua video dapat diverifikasi. Kalau videonya diambil di ruang tutup, just now the bersih video, you can see the sign, everything. Imagine if I film something indoor, there is no other information. It is more difficult. And also, um, uh, tidak tahu siapa yang merakam. The, the, the source of the person. 
um, the uploader can be third party orang lain boleh upload um, itu juga sulit atau sukar kalau video itu um, close up uh, bukan wide angle atau like wide shot so kalau kamu journalist atau aktivis uh, biasanya kamu harus ada filming beberapa angle bukan saja semuanya close up bukan semuanya semuanya wide angle so to establish harus ada wide angle dulu di mana kawasannya di lokasinya di mana dan mungkin ada yang close up yang lain so itu juga tips-tips uh, untuk dokumentasi okay the next step uh, ini kita uh, Uh, move into uh, verification. So, uh, ada empat step, uh, four steps verifying um, eyewitness video. Empat langkah untuk verifikasi video saksi mata. So, yang pertama, um, preserve the video and document the verification process. Kamu harus download video. Uh, jangan fikir banyak-banyak uh, like don't banyak many activists uh, atau documenter journalist selalu uh, fikir kalau video itu online uh, selamat no problem it will be always there so itu yang masalah utama kalau video-video aksi kalau di Jakarta di di Papua di Kuala Lumpur uh, semua videonya di upload semasa sesu- sesuatu aksi atau kasus mereka selalu fikir kalau sudah upload, uh, it stays forever on the internet. Uh, cannot delete. It's not the reality. Sometimes people can download, uh, don't download the video or like take down the video. Uh, your social media account can be blocked. Facebook account can be blocked. YouTube account can be uh, blocked. Your video can be deleted. So a lot of things can happen. So it's important to download the videos. Then number two, Uh, langkah kedua penting untuk dokumentasi proses uh, verifikasi so kamu harus uh, mungkin tulis atau dokumen type so ok uh, date time you download the video from where URL copy paste URL which application you use to download uh, who download the video name of the person contact number then what is the downloaded file name and where you keeping the file in which folder everything have to document ini penting untuk kita juga bilang chain of custody untuk court cases untuk show proof so everything is like recorded properly so either you maintain it in the excel sheet or book like a log or like uh, in a document it, it is important so ada banyak-banyak tools um, Um, yang kamu boleh guna so yang consumer product 4K download uh, boleh download any any um, videos uh, and if you ada experience like coding uh, you can use uh, YouTube DL uh, so how long do I have <laughs> five minutes <laughs> I think, can we take some extra time? Is it possible? Yeah? It, it's, uh, I will go quickly. Yeah? Nggak apa-apa ya, maybe, tambahin lagi waktunya untuk Aru, boleh ya? Untuk, maybe, uh, boleh ya? Yeah. So, I, I will ask the audience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, go on. Okay. And then after uh, he finished his session, then we can... Um, answer several questions that already uh, typed by the participants ya yeah, Arul? Okay cool Maybe you can like compile the, the, the questions, someone have to compile because it's always running uh, many questions maybe No Depends. we already recognize uh, oh, okay. if you see the queue, it's okay. easy to recognize because they have queue beside the questions. Okay please okay. go on thank you So, so these are like example the YouTube video is like taken down or deleted So that's why it's very important to download any videos, even to maintain like your own personal archive or as your organization or as individual. Then um, there is another quick tips. Uh, you can see the YouTube URL. Normally after the equals to sign, 
um, that's the unique code of video. Similarly, you have YouTube in YouTube and Facebook. Every all the URL have the code of the video. So you copy paste the code and you can search on Google. Uh, so you can find similar videos anywhere else or similar URLs uh, people can um, uh, identify. So this is also a good thing to do. You can copy this ID, search in Twitter, you can do. You can search in Facebook, you can search in Google, wherever you want, okay? So number two, uh, is the video original uploader. Langkah apakah video itu adalah video asli? Itu kamu harus uh, tahu. Untuk mengetahui adakah itu video asli, kamu harus uh, uh, lihat date and time. Atau siapa upload dahulu? Who is the first one who upload? Maybe that's the original person or they are the one who close to the source. Okay? So you can use like reverse uh, image search, uh, mungkin kamu sudah tahu. Yang ada tool baru, Invit uh, Video. Um, kamu boleh Google, there's a Chrome plugin and a Firefox plugin. Uh, dan juga another number second uh, tool named YouTube Data Viewer. Uh, I can show you example later. So these are two key tools you can identify uh, using Google reverse image search that that any other similar videos appearing on the internet okay yeah. then if you find that video the source then you can do some online checking of the history of the uploader check the facebook page or the name google the name or check uh, what type of person whether they have other type of account or not whether this person are journalist or credible person then if you know the the, the contact or you can message in YouTube or Facebook, you can ask them, hey, did you take this video or not? You can ask directly. Th these are some tips you can uh, use uh, to identify the, the source, uh, the original uploader, okay? Then, <clears throat> okay, original uploader, okay, number three. Uh, yang ketiga, um, di mana video tersebut diambil? So, Seharusnya kita gunakan Google Map mencari tanda-tanda, lokasi, uh, bandingan foto-foto dari Google Map atau Google Search dan juga boleh gunakan Google Earth untuk layer uh, video atau lihat video-video uh, lama, historical image, images uh, in Google Earth. Dan kamu juga harus lihat Atau dengar, bukan lihat, dengar Here, audio visual clues Ada clue-clue lain Contohnya, tadi dalam bersih video Someone mention uh, The police officer uh, uh, Uniform Or like um, Number plate uh, Car number plate Or the, the way they speak Flags uh, Or street signs Th These are the things Or can you hear what language they are speaking What they are saying that kind of information. So this will help to identify. Not only Google Map, you can use like OpenStreetMaps uh, and Wikimapia. You you can create like boundaries to, uh, using Wikimapia and also OpenStreetMaps are growing and you also can use that. So early example, I, I used this, this one verification they, they did in um, Damascus. Based on the YouTube video, they managed to use Google Earth to compare. Oh, this is the location they dropped the bomb. So they, they could identify that. Of course, there's a lot of work for this. Not, not, not so easy. And it's not so difficult. <coughs> so um, I'm going to just like <laughs> uh, go quickly. Eh? When was the video taken? Eh? So you can look at uh, sometimes there's narration. So in the birthday video, the guy is speaking, oh, I'm standing in this place. Or oh, today, 9 May 2001, I'm filming the protest, birthday protest, something. So there is narration. So there's also visual indicator whether it's raining or not, uh, whether the it's, it's dark, the area. So you can check the weather uh, uh, websites to see in Kuala Lumpur what time, 
what date, what type of weather, uh, whether it's uh, corroborate with the visual or not. So these are the other tips. Of course, in um, YouTube, you can s uh, look at the, the filters, uh, upload date. Um, uh, you can identify uh, the, the videos, the oldest up, uh, date or the latest dates, and you can filter and try to find out. Then <coughs> there are a few ways uh, untuk um, cara mendapat data geolokasi dari foto dan video. So, uh, as I said earlier, Invit project is very good. Uh, you can do a lot of stuff using that. Uh, reverse image search, look at the metadata, everything is there. Uh, there is online tool for EXIF regress, like uh, metadata for the photos and so on. Okay, then, <coughs> so the last step is when was the video taken? Okay, uh, you can like corroborate other information. As I mentioned earlier, there's Bersi video, then Bersi 2. So you can check on Wikipedia when, it, when was the Bersi 2. So there's a date, 9 July. Then you can search in 9 July in Kuala Lumpur, anyone else sharing any other video or Bersi video. So does this video corroborate with some news or some different angle? That's how you can uh, search stuff, okay? Then, okay, quickly, eh? so I may, might not go through fully. So now things might get more challenging uh, uh, because of deep fakes video. Um, example like this, everyone have seen. Uh, without uh, real person face being swapped. Okay. Nicholas Cage face. Okay. The lady like they swapped to a, a male. Then this is quite popular. Like Trump video, the defect video. Actually, they, they are the one who like saying things and the like looks like Trump saying it himself. Uh, so in the in the future, it, it's easy to uh, change faces, say things you didn't say. So I just put in the context. Uh, imagine, like, uh, Wiranto saying something or Jokowi saying something. So using the fake video, it will be more challenging. Uh, in in like as I said, like people are consuming content um, more on mobile phone these videos you can't really see whether it's deep fake or not you might just look oh no, jokowi is saying something or like biranto saying something or Aung Suki saying something or like mahadev saying something this this is what that 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 definitely effects you know like maybe the country politically not stable or there's a lot of human rights violations happening that that can be misused okay then maybe i will skip this part um, I would like to like conclude. <laughs> Seeing isn't believing. Uh, uh, so we need to be skeptical and uh, think twice or three times uh, to believe what you see online, especially the videos. So we are going into the era that more and more video content will be on social media and the text and photo content will be lesser in the future. That's where we are heading. Like with the apps like TikTok, I think it's in, popular in Indonesia. People want to communicate visually. They want to say things, speak, dance, move, and share information. No more like typing long page or like long posts on the Facebook. So do I have time to show? Uh, no, 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 no. Otherwise, we will not answer the questions, yeah? Okay. Uh, I think you finished all the slides that you have, yeah? 62, 62 slides. Okay, tadi, uh, Adi, kita bisa masuk yeah. ke pertanyaan. So, we will uh, answer several questions that already uh, typed by the participant, yeah? Arul, yeah? Ya, Adi, ya? Okay. Yes. Jadi, pertanyaan One pertama itu dari, dari Mbak Jati, ya? Mas Jati oh, atau Mbak Jati? Mbak Jati, Mbak Jati ini dari Media Indonesia. Jadi tadi, uh, so Arul, you mentioned earlier that um, sometimes, uh, not uh, often, the the recorder, the person who's recording the video, they mention things like 
uh, bersih 2.0 for instance and they describe things like oh the, the, the video was taken in Puduraya and so on so far but what about if the, narr the narrative or description is also false information it's, it will lead us to the yeah. wrong conclusion as well right yeah so so that that can that that is possible uh, not only the narration um it also possible to manipulate uh, metadata and also um, other digital information. So it, it's quite challenging. That's why I'm saying like one video or like one piece of information is not enough. That's why you need to look for other supporting information or corroborating information to prove something happened. So in the context of like police brutality or like human rights violation, Maybe there was one incident happened or there is no documentation or there might be documentation. But based on the stories, sometimes eyewitness interviews, sometimes there's no video at all. You can go to the location, maybe interview some people or find out more information or like you can say, hey, I seen this video. They're saying it's happened in this kampong or like this village. Is it true? So th these are more investigative things you need to do. So it is possible, of course, to manipulate. On the digital uh, side of it, so that's why the, some app developers, some people are looking at not only one type of information, they have multi-layer, multi-information to support one data, to support one media. So example, if you're using like a app called like Proof Mode uh, or like Tela, so when you take a photo or video, your media also records the metadata, the app record metadata from your so phone sensor. So it, it have information like GPS location, cell tower, uh, Wi-Fi you are connected to, something like that. Imagine if you want to like duplicate uh, GPS or you, you want to fake it, but you cannot fake it the cell tower ID because the government also have the same data. If the cell tower ID is A002, and it's located near this road, how, how to fake it. So that's why you need to have uh, corroborative data and other information to support for your investigation or verification. Okay, thank you, Arul. The next question is came from Triwah Uni. Any other questions? Yes, from Triwah Uni. Hello. Hello, Arul. Okay, Hello? okay. The second question is coming from Triwah Yuni, and she meant she asked if you know the metadata, is it possible to know who's uploading for the first time in the internet? Uh, not not necessarily because you you are investigating further. So, so when when I mention the once you upload the video online. The original metadata is no more there. So you need to dig out more information. So that's why I mentioned like you can use tools like reverse image search, see whether similar video being uploaded. So basically we go, uh, they call it like provenance. So who first did upload? Maybe it's 2001. That's the earliest upload you can see for that video. That means we can assume this person who upload with a Facebook account or YouTube might the original uploader or he might have connection with the person who filmed or he found that video from somewhere. So that, that's how you find out. Once you know the original content or like uh, normally the original content also sometimes can be like good quality, higher frame rate. You can have 720 or like, so maybe the older videos can be like 360, 480 frame rate. So it's roughly, you know, oh, this is like like five years time or four years time. There's a HD quality of the same video. So, so that means like this person have access to that kind of quality. So that's how you do it. Okay, so it's basically you should uh, look for the first uh, uploader, yeah? Uh, the history of the uploader is one thing yeah. that uh, you know. Ada lagi nggak pertanyaan tadi yang udah kita Adi ada lagi nggak yang udah aku tanden sih berdua itu Adi nemuin lagi nggak yang lain? Baru ada dua pertanyaan itu saja. 
Oke, okay. um, ada lagi pertanyaan lainnya um, yang mau ditanyakan? Silahkan teman-teman jangan ragu diketik, nanti dibantu disampaikan ke presenter kita. Jika tidak ada pertanyaan lagi, Any other questions? Saya uh, akan... Uh, basically, um, there are some tools as well to look for the metadata, right? Like, um, Exif Fever, yeah. Uh, some of the... Uh, uh, Jeffrey's yeah. Exif Fever, one of them, right? Yeah, yeah. So, I, I can show quickly example of this video uh, so they can get some understanding. So, this video is from YouTube, okay? Can you see my screen share? Yes, yes. Yes, yes. So then, then I go to his account. So first ZE. So like roughly I know like he joined uh, Facebook, uh, no, YouTube on 2011. Then, then uh, I also can check what type of video he uploads. Is it only protest video, whether he's an activist or not, or like he posts any other content? So at the bottom, I can see that there is a lot of protest video also only during that period, uh, 2000, like eight years ago. Then I used the YouTube uh, data viewer. I copy paste the uh, uh, YouTube URL. Then I got the um, data of the YouTube video. So basically uh, the text, then the video ID, remember I told you about the video ID? This uh -huh. is the video ID. You can search it anywhere you want. Then the upload date time. So then you need to convert. Normally, um, it's if I'm not mistaken, it's US time, San Francisco time because YouTube registered in US. So you need to convert. So you can easily click here to convert the date and time uh, to your local time. So I converted. Uh, to Malaysia time, Kuala Lumpur, Monday 11 July. Uh, the upload time was 22, 11, uh, 12. Okay. Then you can see here all the thumbnails is ac automatically extracted from the video file with this tool. So I can just click reverse image search. Then I, it brings to the uh, Google's image search. Then I can see is there a similar video or not? So that's how I found out. Then I can see the whole list, you know. 2011, nine, someone uploaded on the 9 May. Same video. But someone uploaded 11 May. He's the one 11, sorry, 11 July. Someone, someone uploaded July 9th, August 6th, July 12th. So from this list, I know the earliest person who upload is July 9th. Then I go to, uh, of course, after I found out the Bersier text, I go Bersier, search about Bersier. So it's July 9, 2011, is the rally. So maybe he's the one who actually captured. Then from one of the uh, extracted uh, photos, I managed to locate one of the uh, building name, okay? So I went to the Google. Uh, search so i found the place chameleon travel lodge from that video so now i know the location i can do also street view so it's it's actually happened the the tear gas what was fired along this road so i could identify so remember i mentioned about invid tool so it's just like a plugin firefox or chrome you can do a lot of things you can check keyframes YouTube thumbnail, you can search tweet, you can search metadata of the video. So this uh, is the uh, thumbnail extracted from the uh, video I uh, searching. Okay. Then I can search that video, uh, that thumbnail also. And also I can uh, do uh, like more investigation uh, about that image, real or not then I can look at the thumbnail and so on. So this is how I found the location, you see? Uh, the Astrama Chameleon Travels Lodge. So I took one photo, 
I search on Google reverse image search. So uh, these are the photos. Yeah. So this this is how like 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 basic steps. Okay. Okay. I think we we still have one more question. Si Adi masih boleh nggak satu lagi di? Yes, please. Depi Agung ya. Yeah. yeah. So um, if you want to clarify the video, what uh, should we do if the first source has been taken down? Jadi udah nggak ada. Uh, it, it's very difficult. So the, that, that's, why, yeah, uh -huh. that's why I'm saying that if you can find even the offline video in WhatsApp or someone is keeping it, you still can upload and search for the thumbnail and reverse image search and to find out anyone else have that similar video there. So the, that's what happens nowadays so many videos we don't know which one to archive which one to save so it depends on your uh we call it like collection plan if ag what's your collection plan oh download all videos from jakarta protest download all videos from papua so if someone is doing it at least you can reach out to this person or person who archiving to get this video that's what i'm showing there is a lot of initiative in uh, burma in papua that archiving uh, certain type of videos, mainly human rights violations, war crime. So someone is already doing it. So if imagine in one year time, two years time, the video is taken down, but they still have a copy of it. So that can be used as evidence, that can be used as an ad advocacy tool. So that's why it's important to always have a plan for, for, for preserving video, downloading video, because Social media does your videos on social media doesn't stay forever. Oke, okay, jadi kita juga udah uh, pernah bikin pelatihan tentang pengarsipan ya webinar sebelumnya ya. Uh, jadi itu salah satu yang penting juga dilakukan uh, untuk menjaga supaya uh, ketika sudah di take down kita masih punya, terutama untuk isu-isu sensitif. Ya. Gitu Dan, ya, Arul ya. Wah, semuanya udah mulai muncul lagi. Mukanya berarti udah harus ditendang kayak ini. Tadi ada tips juga dari Arul. Jika teman-teman lupa, saat melakukan pengarsipan, dia punya disiplin untuk mencatat siapa yang mengarsipkan, siapa yang mendownload. Any, any more questions? So... Siapa yang, apa? Aplikasi apa yang dipakai untuk mendownload? No. No. Dan kapan dilakukan proses download itu? Jadi itu juga penting untuk teman-teman aktivis saat videonya hendak dijadikan barang so maybe, bukti berkaitan uh, urusan hukum. To, to, Jika, let, let me like just share yeah. my Apa, contact information. Ya, yeah, please. Okay, okay. Well, let, Jadi buat teman-teman yang, yang, yang hmm? gimana Karatna? Yang start dot uh, yang start dot minyak dia itu 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 banyak banget dan itu uh, secara berkala dia masih terus uh, nambahin kalau dia nemuin link link yang oke okay. dan itu rapi banget karena dia udah clustering yang pengen belajar digital security yang mau tahu tentang video dan sebagainya uh, satu page itu udah mencakup semuanya jadi kayak uh, library yang tumbuh lah gitu jadi dia terus menerus uh, memperbarui Tadi udah di-share ya, nanti juga bakalan di-share. Uh, so, we will share the slide as well, tapi takes time karena uh, nanti uh, akan dibagikan ke seluruh peserta setelah webinar selesai. Oke, okay. yeah, so any my closing question. statement that so, you want to? Yeah, that's uh, my Twitter account, Arul PRK, and uh, you can message me, or like uh, if I'm in Indonesia, I'm willing to come and Uh, do training on video and technology for human rights for journalists activists uh, you can reach out to me uh, if you have like a particular community or group of people who want to get trained and can also reach out to me through ag uh, yeah <laughs> like yeah yeah. Uh, ratna, yeah you can talk to ratna to contact me or anyone from ag kalau ada yang butuh pelatihan, terutama karena witness ini mendorong um, perekaman uh, video ya dari marginal uh, komunitas marginal atau indigenous ya uh, uh, indigenous apa ya suku-suku asli ya. Iya. 
Ya, uh, yang um, menggunakan video untuk misalnya uh, reporting uh, human rights violation. Uh, misalnya melaporkan kejahatan HAM dan sebagainya. Witness ini juga uh, biasa melatih uh, komunitas. Jadi bisa uh, reach out ke Aru lewat Twitternya, lewat uh, Witness Asia di uh, organisasinya sama uh, Facebook dari Witness Asia juga. So uh, can you email. share your email address please? I'm typing now. I'm putting in the chat. Oke. Okay. Oke, okay, sebentar ya Mbak Jati ya. Dia bakal share juga emailnya. Oke. Okay. Oke, okay, uh, emailnya ada prakash double k at witness double s dot org ya. Bisa okay. juga di kontak. Ya. Yeah, Oke. Okay. Please feel free to contact. Terima kasih banyak buat Mas Arul yang sudah mau berbagi. Okay. Thank you. Buat, terima kasih. Buat rekan-rekan semua yang juga yang sudah bergabung, terima kasih. So Jika ada link, end the webinar or no, is there I, no, I will, I will close or? the webinar, but I will introduce the participant about what next and what else they can do about check packing. Jadi kawan-kawan, ya, yeah. jadi kawan-kawan. Webinar ini masih ada dua rangkaian terakhir. Kita masih ada webinar ya, sesi 8 ya. dengan tema maksimalisasi akun Google Any dan questions? keamanan. No? Okay, closing. Dan no, no. keamanan. Uh, so Adi will Adi is explaining the next uh, webinar for the participants. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. Okay. Hmm, ya. Jadi webinar 8 nanti akan digelar pada tanggal 16 Januari mulai pukul 7. Teman-teman silahkan follow akun Twitter Aji Indonesia untuk memastikan link untuk bergabung dalam webinar ke-8 temanya maksimalisasi akun Google dan keamanan terkait smartphone yang rekan-rekan gunakan sehari-hari karena sebagai jurnalis, sebagai pengecek fakta, sebagai apa aktivis mungkin ada upaya pertasan dan sebagainya dan kita harus menjaga keamanan itu tadi Arul udah berbagi juga berbagai tools kalau teman-teman penasaran pengen mengintip dulu tools yang dari Arul bagikan silahkan dibaca diikuti jangan lupa bergabung kembali seluruh rangkaian webinar ini juga sedang diupayakan oleh kawan-kawan di Sekretariat Aji untuk bisa diputar ulang videonya jadi teman-teman yang tertinggal seperti pengarsipan itu di edisi paling pertama dari webinar ini teman-teman nanti bisa lihat kembali Jangan lupa untuk kemudian memberikan masukan pasca training ini karena akan ada link yang dikirim. Silahkan teman-teman berikan feedback. Mungkin uh, waktunya terlalu pendek atau waktunya terlalu malam. Kami butuh masukan itu. Terima kasih teman-teman atas partisipasinya. Terima kasih buat Kakak Ratna. Terima kasih. Thanks also for you, Arul, uh, joining us with this webinar. Hope we can see you again. Saya harap kita semua bisa bertemu dalam kesempatan berbeda. Mungkin langsung bertemu fisik dalam pelatihan yang digeral Arul di Indonesia. Mungkin nanti ada pihak yang mengundang. Siapa tahu kita bisa bertemu. Dengan ini saya akan tutup uh, live eventnya. Terima kasih kawan-kawan. Selamat malam. Sampai gabung. Sampai bertemu kembali di webinar Hai. selanjutnya. Selamat malam. Bye-bye.